Ladies and gentlemen, this woman that you're looking at received a racist letter from a neighbor because she used a blender at 10 a.m. in the morning. And they claimed that was disrespectful. I tell you what, I would take that letter and go to small claims court with it. Go to court, take them to court. And I promise you, there's no judge in the land that's going to think it's unreasonable to use a blender at 10 a.m. It's not unreasonable to use that. It's not unreasonable for you to vacuum your house at 10, uh, 10 a.m. It's not unreasonable for you to have a TV on or a video game at that time because 10 a.m., that's not a, a crazy time in the morning. It's not extra early. I wish he would have sent me that letter. Gave, the, gave me the ammunition I need to sue you. Give it to me. <laughs> That's the way I see it. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Raw Story, December 3rd, 2020. Black woman gets inward letter from neighbor for using Blender at 10 a.m. Learn to have respect. I don't see where the disrespect is in that. A woman from Boston, Massachusetts shared a racist letter that she had received from a neighbor that admonished her for loud sex and using a blender at 10 a.m. Oh, is that what it is? You ain't getting none? Oh, I think I got it now. I know why you're so uptight and so, so anal. So anyway, the woman uses the Twitter, Twitter handle at Earth Yari posted an image of the letter on Tuesday. And here's the letter, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Okay. You seem to have no respect for others, huh? The letter begins. You seem to think that you can move into a new building without abiding by the rules and morality or have any concern for anyone else but yourself. Using a blender at 10 a.m., how is that disregarding respect for others? I don't get it. I don't get the connection. Girl, you better get yourself a lawyer. I would sue the hell out of that person. Who uses a blender at 10 a.m.? Many people do. I'm one of them. I get up and make my smoothie in the morning. And sometimes it's before 10 a.m., I do, <laughs> and many do. So he act like that's, I mean, he or she act like that's unheard of for somebody to use a blender at 10 a.m. Get real. You're playing rap music so early in the morning. 10 a.m. ain't early in the morning. Now, if you were talking about 5 a.m. or 6 a.m., that's early in the morning. 10 a.m. ain't early in the morning. Okay. Please put away the inward music only. Inward, listen to inward music. Girl, you 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 should be dialing. I would love for somebody to send me a please send me a letter like that because I'm a sue the hell out of you. The entirely rude, please learn to have some respect. The letter said before adding, and please stop having sexual relations so loud, I promise you, it's not that good, sweetie. You don't need to wake up everyone. Wake everyone up. So, like I said, somebody ain't getting none. <laughs> somebody ain't getting none. Well, I guess if you're bad in bed, you're not going to have good sex. You're right about that. Uh, learn to have manners and be respectful. The woman who received the letter defended herself on Twitter. In my defense, my music isn't that loud. I've actually walked out of my apartment while it was playing to test it, she explained. And making a smoothie at 10 a.m. isn't that bad. She's right about that. I won't comment on the last thing. I would. I mean, first of all, you can do whatever you want in your apartment. That person, they can't stop you from doing anything that you do in your daily life. They can't stop you from doing that. So 
like I said, you find an attorney, give that letter to them, or file a civil suit against that neighbor in court, I promise you, once you start making this whole thing legal against them, they won't be sending you any more letters, okay? Trust me, they will not send you another letter as long as they are breathing above ground. They won't. You know, when people do stuff like this, the best way to hurt them is hitting them in the pocket. And that's what you need to do with this neighbor, this racist neighbor. Hit their ass up in the pocket and make it good. Make it hard and make it good. He, I tell you what, he won't bother nobody else with any more racist letters after you start slapping him around legally. But y'all, please tell me what you think. And not only that, Black people do fairly well in civil court. I, I am very much a person that knows that better than anyone else. I've been there a few times, do quite well. So y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.